you could be rich in two years, you could retire early. The same expert trader, Bob Lucas, who in 2018 predicted Bitcoin's price rally from 4K all the way up to 69K by 2021, is now making another huge Bitcoin price prediction. If you have a family member who doesn't quite understand the asymmetrical opportunity of Bitcoin as an investment, please send them this video. They will thank you. And you remember this original video from 2018 when Bob Lucas told you to buy Bitcoin when the price was just $37,000? Or were you not subscribed to us yet because we showed this to you? Did you see this? Hello, this is Bob Lucas. Today I'm going to be presenting a very interesting and exciting update on the four year Bitcoin cycle. And I think this is a video that you're going to really want to pay attention to because the current action and sell off in the Bitcoin markets really is something that is quite normal for this point in the, in the cycle. And one that really does present an amazing opportunity for those who have the foresight to look at it from the correct lens. So first a little bit on me, I'm a 25 year veteran of trading. Um, past 10 years, my main focus has been on the study of cycles. I study cycles in many asset classes, such as obviously the equity markets, gold, silver, crude oil, the US dollar, and, and more recently, Bitcoin and crypto. I find that Bitcoin is actually a perfect asset class for cycle analysis. But now what we're looking at here is we rally back up, but then it kind of chops sideways for probably half of the year, come back up, and then it'll start to break out of that range. And this is where it started to build back up and build the base up here to test the $20,000 level. So from this point, it's kind of a stealth move. Certainly at least the the base around the five to $7,000 area, uh, knocking up against all this, uh, what was support would be now resistance. This is the cleansing um, period of kind of the bear market or early bull market. This is accumulation phase for new institutions or the savvy investors. Then when we start breaking out and it starts to regain some of that price between 7,000 and 20,000, you're gonna to start to get more and more interest, more media attention again, until back to this $20,000 level. Now, if you look at past charts, if you look at this sort of move here, and then this move, that's the equivalent phase. Once it starts to get back up to the old highs, that's when it begins to accelerate. Bob Lucas just made another huge Bitcoin price prediction. Hopefully you listen this time. Like the video, support the channel, comment what you think about all of this below, and send this video to somebody who needs to see it. So I'll include a link to Bob's full video and actually his whole YouTube channel in the description below. I subscribe to him and I'm reacting to his video today. I pulled the most important clips to show you. This is Bob Lucas's new prediction for Bitcoin going into 2024 and 2025. What is ahead for us? Watch. So really what is ahead in theory is a four year cycle that is mirroring the prior cycles. Of course, a prior cycle does not in any way guarantee that you'll see something similar in this cycle, but it still is worth kind of just painting somewhat of a picture here to what potentially could come from a cycle, especially one that sort of somewhat mirrors the 2015 to 17 cycle, or even less so would be the 2018 to sort of 2021 top, which still wasn't a horrible performer by any means. Those two cycles, if they were to play out sort of point to a $200,000 to a 900 or so thousand dollar Bitcoin price in the next cycle. So if Bitcoin cycle plays out like either of these two prior cycles, Bitcoin will be taking a run at $200,000 up to $900,000. And because Bitcoin's price is relatively low right now, this is a huge asymmetrical opportunity that not many people know about. And these prices are very possible for a nascent asset class exploding with growth and adoption. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I am pounding my keyboard, commenting, diminishing returns right now. What about diminishing returns? 
Each cycle, the returns get less and less. Tell me what you think about diminishing returns in the comments below before I debunk this. Now, of course, there's the idea that we'll see diminishing returns. The last two cycles um, were uh, had returned less than the prior cycle. So looking at that, then maybe there's a target of around about 120, 130,000. So the diminishing returns theory that each cycle, the returns get less and less could play out. I mean, this is a possibility, but everybody seems to be thinking it. Everybody seems to be saying diminishing returns. Everybody seems pretty sure about diminishing returns. So I'd like to offer you a counter theory, a alternative narrative to the theory of diminishing returns, which everybody seems so damn sure about. And the counter theory is this. Bitcoin will seemingly top out at 100K, 120K, 150K, whatever it is, Many Bitcoin holders will sell most of their coins at this point. The market might dip for a bit and many will sell further thinking that the top is already in. But then Bitcoin's price pops back up, makes a new all time high, keeps pumping higher. And then all the people who sold at 100K or 140K feel FOMO. They buy back in at 180K or 220K and other people are buying in, pushing the market to top even higher. So just understand that there's an anti-diminishing returns thesis too, an increasing returns thesis. This could surprise a lot of people. Bitcoin maximalists, American HODL, Brad Mills, and I don't really know the guy in the middle, they discuss the real possibility of this here. Do you agree with this? If the thesis I outlined plays out, where people like Brad start to take profits at 150K, 200K, whatever it is, right? And then, you know, we see a reduction in Bitcoin and then it comes roaring back and people are going, oh shit, this is the moment. It's going to a million dollars. I got to get back in. We could actually legitimately see it take a run at a million dollars. So my prediction is we are going to see the diminished return bubble get popped, the belief get popped, and then we're going to see Bitcoin take a run legitimately at a million dollars this time around in 2025, 2026. Wow. Damn. Nice. All right. And if there was a cycle where Bitcoin really did have increased returns from prior cycles, why wouldn't it be this one? If slash when the BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF is approved, that is going to open up a lot of institutional and high net worth buying pressure like we've never seen before. Bob Lucas articulates the impact of a BlackRock ETF here. So let's talk about the ETF impact here. Obviously, there's already an impact. There's obviously a significant amount of buying that's been going on in anticipation of an approval. Now, I don't have the answer to whether or not it will be approved or not. There are very, very few people that do. Um, but the market feels as if an approval is coming. And generally, with so much, so much sort of traditional finance and institutional money coming in, um, I get the feeling that this approval is going to be coming in the next sort of four to six weeks uh, before these deadlines are due. That is my read, at least, of the tea leaves, and that's what the market and the price action, I believe, is telling us. And it, people have said, well, isn't that going to be sort of a sell the news event? Isn't that priced in? And my, and my thinking is, no, it's not, for a number of reasons. One, when you look at where we stand in the four-year cycle, here's the monthly chart, which, by the way, is just picture perfect, running to script, as good as you can get, essentially, with now just nine to 10 months in from the last four-year cycle. So we're in the most advantageous sort of phase of a cycle, of a long four-year cycle. So the tailwind is behind this market. So when you get extremely positive news, something like an ETF approval that really has been 10 years in the making, we've gone through kind of these ETF is coming narratives many, many times over the cycles. But if we were to actually arrive this time around, I think what's different this time around is that in the past, in back in you know, 2020 and 2017 and other periods where we talked a lot about an ETF approval, I don't think the general market was very uh, was in a position to embrace an ETF wholeheartedly, whereas it is today. When you look at sort of some of the, the traditional financial news media, and you look at CNBC, for example, the narrative towards or the view and the sentiment towards Bitcoin by not just the the analysts and the presenters, but essentially anybody that comes onto these shows, there are very very few skeptics anymore for Bitcoin. 
um, most either have either a neutral stand or a very positive and bullish stand. Of course, that's because they see the potential for themselves and their traditional firms, institutional firms, to take advantage of this. But that also extends more broadly to the general uh, population. Um, I think now Bitcoin has achieved a level of awareness and has moved from kind of that scammy, fake internet money kind of uh, viewpoint that everybody held to, yeah, this actually makes some sense. I understand it. And it's been around through boom and bust cycle now three to four times that it's legitimate. And, and the reason I bring this up is the environment is ripe where if these, these ETFs get approved, that the follow-on capital inflow, the ability for wealth managers and, and uh, investment advisors, for example, to convince their clients to allocate some of their funds towards Bitcoin is now in place. So seeing these get approved, I think also means that it will be followed by real and significant inflows into the space and into Bitcoin that will help drive this up. Make sure you send this video to somebody who needs to see it. Look, guys, one thing is clear. The bull market is confirmed. Could Bitcoin dip to 25,000 again? Sure. But I don't think it goes lower than that. And people are just starting to realize that. And really, how you have to think about it, it's less about an exact price because nobody knows if Bitcoin's going to top at 120K or 320K or 520K. What we are looking for is an approximate time period in which all of this happens, i.e. the four-year cycle. This is the box slash the window of time for top. Bitcoin tops here. If this cycle plays out like the prior three cycles played out, then we've got almost two years of a bull market ahead of us. It's a very, very long time for you to remain disciplined and patient and in that position with the goal being, and I, I, I said this very thing, in, in that last cycle with the goal being of just sitting in that position and focusing on that upper box right there where the timing for the expected next cycle will occur. That would be the easiest path. Now, there's nothing easy about holding a position that you got in at 3,500 or more recently 17,000 and now seeing Bitcoin trade in the $100,000 range and possibly 200,000 and jumping by five or $7,000 in one daily candle. That's not going to be easy. So the goal is to ride this up. Don't sell too early. Of course, prepare for multiple 30% dips along the way. Of course, take profits at a certain point. The only difference though, and this is the one big unknown to me, the only difference might be the BlackRock spot ETF approval. If it incites crazy FOMO and we actually top earlier than this, that's going to throw everything off. Bob Lucas explains the possibility of early top here. The only difference here might be with an ETF approval is it might provide the type of FOMO that could drive this monthly chart up sharply and quickly and early. And I do think that's a possibility right here that if we were to see in a very short period of time, Bitcoin go up and make an all time high well before even say the halving or the midpoint of this four year cycle, then that to me would be the most difficult scenario to, to invest or trade on because it doesn't fall in that expected window like it has in the past. So to see Bitcoin over the next just a few months. So for example, here is sort of your four year window. If you go to sort of that 24 month period, you get to November of next year. That's the midpoint of the cycle. So Bitcoin here should not be making a new high above that sort of $70,000 range before this November high. In prior cycles, it took 26 weeks, 26 months to get to a high. And in this cycle, it took right there, 23 to 24. So right at the midpoint. That's essentially roughly, roughly where Bitcoin should be making its new high in the cycle. If it gets there well before that point and well before the halving, say, for example, by February or March, of 2024 within 14 to 16 months from the lows, then that is far too bullish, far too quick that would have the profile of a blow off move or a left translated cycle. So 
again, it's way too early to even really worry about this. We would worry about this, I would say, by around January if we saw uh, this current candle and maybe next month in December come up towards sort of 49.50, which I think on an ETF approval would be expected. But we should also see that shakeout, that volatility event in the following month in January, bring it back down to earth somewhat, shake people out, and then also then resume a more normal path forward. If it were to shoot up to 50,000 in the following month, shoot up to 65,000, the following month shoot up to 100,000 as an example, that would be the very character of a left translated cycle. Again, that would make it very difficult because you just don't know whether or not over just six months from there and say by the summer of next year, you had 200 or 250,000. You just don't know where that top in the cycle would be and would make it very difficult. It's much better to have a cycle make and push big FOMO, broad bull mania uh, in this window because it makes it easier to, to then make the assumption that the final leg of the bull market is in place. So we're going to be watching out for that in future videos. Again, a little bit early to tell uh, and how it responds to any positive ETF approval is going to be very important here in determining whether or not a left translated cycle is in play. So not financial advice, just historical info and opinion. Past performance does not equate to future performance. But in my opinion, now is the time to get in. Now is the time to get your friends and family in. Now is the time, if you make smart enough moves, you could be rich in two years, you could retire early. We will be covering this heavily for the next two years for sure. I mean, we've been making daily crypto content for the last five years. So make sure you're subscribed to us for daily updates on the crypto market. If you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency, join the altcoin daily army. The cryptocurrency markets are about to get very exciting, my friends. Comment, made it to the end if you watched the entire video.